What's up YouTube? It's First Shift here and today I'm going to show you how to uh, get a uh, changing wallpapers basically like boss paper but in my eyes I think it's better because with uh, what I'm going to show you and uh, what I'll have in the more info section will make it all worthwhile because you can change a lot more than just the wallpaper. Um, I know in the uh, city it does not have something with uh, boss paper where it's transparent so you can use it with any theme but mine's going to do that as well plus you'll be able to change quite a bit of other things so uh, to get this to work first thing I want you to do is go to your computer and I want you to make a folder as you see I made one here called first shift um, once you made a folder uh, I'll have this in the more info section this whole folder for shift but you go ahead and change the name or do whatever you like um, right here is your wallpaper and this is your info now those two I don't want you to touch now as you see here it says private if I click into that you see two wallpapers that I made um, one labeled first shift and the next one Jeff now as you see they're all lowercase so all I want you to do is uh, grab two wallpapers that you like um, anything you like and just uh, Put them in there, name one first shift and the other one Jeff, and you're set. Okay. Um, I just inverted one, but you can use two totally different pictures if you wanted to. You don't have to use an inverted picture. But I just did this to show you how it works. So now, once you've done that, all I want you to do is go ahead and SSH. And all we're going to do is backspace once, slide down to stash, and as you see here is themes. Then we'll go to wherever we save what I'll have in the more info section. As usual, I save everything to the desktop. And you see it's right here. All I'd want you to do is drag and drop that into themes. I already have it in there, so I'll show you what it does. After that, you go ahead and close out of a SSH and you're completely done with it. So, if we go back to, I'm using my touch here, to this. Um, first of all, I'll just install a normal theme to show you what, what, what it does. Um, so, let me just go to my themes here. And I'm just going to install my old theme back in there. Alrighty, as you see, I have my regular theme back in here now. And let's say you picked a theme on uh, Cydia, or you make your own theme and you like it, and you want to have a changing background. What's cool about this? And what I love about it, you can use any theme, but use your own changing wallpaper for any theme. And I'll show you how. If I go to Winterboard, as you see, I still have my Jeff checked right there. And I'm going to install what I'll have in the more info, which was first shift. Close that out. let it load and as you see I still have my theme with my icons of the other one but I have a new changing wallpaper as you see right there and that's pretty much how to get a changing wallpaper with any theme that you want to use now if you have iFile or you could do it the whole way on the computer um, I'll show you why I like this better than boss paper it does pretty much the same thing but also, I will use iFile to do this, but you can use the computer as well. If you go into var stash and themes, as you see right here, it says info plist. If you click on that, in here is all the strings. You could change the font of the docked and undocked icons or the labels. 
and also what I really like about it you could also change the label colors right out of this through iFile so you could do everything right on your phone to switch color which I'll show you is if I go back see all the colors are white I'll go ahead and change those to red so if I go back to iFile info P list into the first shift theme edit and I slide down it says docked icon label style I'll show you where I'm at here as soon as I get it on there right there it says white type in red you see it says red save done now all I'm going to do is respring As you see, all my undocked icons are still white. If I slide down, you got red. So you can use any HTML co color code or uh, the standard colors. You can change the dock icons or the undocked icons and all the fonts as well as the background. So that's why I like using this better than Boss Paper because there's so much more you could do. Again, I'll have all this in the more info section, this whole template. Now all you'd have to do is make your own wallpaper and change it or make two of them change one to first shift and the other one to Jeff and you as well could have this and it's way better in my eyes than boss paper because there's so much more you could do to it you could use this over another theme you could font it you could color the springboard uh, labels I mean there's it's endless so it's way cool because you could do everything in one step and again you could do it through iFile or you could change the plist file on your computer as well by going to here and clicking on info and right in here as well you'll have all your stuff as you see it here undocked icon label style has this font and if I slide over right here you see right there it says white so you could change all this right on your phone through iFile or on your computer and uh, it's way better in my eyes than uh, boss paper because there's so much more you could do with it. Um, again, this is First Shift. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I hope this video comes out pretty good. I'm using the new I, I, or Apple Nano, Nano to record this, so I hope it works out pretty good. Video seems to be pretty good on these, so I uh, figured I'd do a video trying it out. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, questions go ahead and message me you can follow me on facebook as well i have a link for that and uh stay tuned there's some big news coming out for the jailbreak as well later